When salmonella brewed, we stopped buying ozone unfriendly spray and the makers changed them right away. We turned their attention to the plight of the whales and between us, we've nearly tipped the scales. So realize the power of the individual. Remember that love is a special tool. It's not that you need your life to change, but your priority, you rearrange. By losing that conformist mold, you follow your heart, not what you're told. Thousands of people throughout the land doing their thing and making a stand. Actions and deeds that free the mind. Get rid of those thoughts of a guilty kind. If you want to do something and you don't know what to do, here's my message directed to you. Saving the world is not too hard, but you've got to start in your own backyard.
they want me to sing of the gentle British Bobby on a panda beat. B.C. Blake Lock cracked open in a battlefield at the siege of Broadwater Farm. They want black folks to enlist. No discrimination, they say. Perks, pension, and perhaps first-class travel from Northern Ireland in an oak paneled coffin. They want me to rubber stamp Michael Jackson's circumcised face from his grave brother Malcolm X, moans the death of an African nose. They want the revolution to be televised from Gdansk to Guadalajara, from Chinamen Square to Tunisia, from the Punjab to the Pondo land. Cameras zoom in, eager to play their share, and they want their lies to sound like music. Long forgotten dreams to haunt the brain of the living dead. And they want Hiroshima, Nagasaki to be the final epitaph of war. A Japanese microchip lodged in a tombstone of doomsday. They want women to service men's lust, our lust, on a cold centerfold page, on a slippery kitchen floor, in a dimly lit alleyway at the back of a police station. They want the poet to sing of everything but nothing. They want to suck at will the black juice that makes their factories roar, yet drill daggers of hatred into the dreams of our black skins. Black anger cannot be penned in. Black anger cannot be hemmed in. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will not be televised. Black anger cannot be hemmed in. I tell you not a tale, daughters of Palestine, sons of Palestine. I too know the tangy taste of pain, like vinegar darting across a gaping wound. Like the sting of a slave driver's whip, stalking my sister's barren back way down there in Mississippi. Like the silent wail of a Guatemalan orchid, as the U.S. advisor plucks its petals from the lawns of the presidential palace. I was there in Deryasin, Kafakasen. Perhaps he saw me trapped in a smile of an eight-year-old Arab child as she flung the first pebble at a Zionist soldier. I was there in Lebanon, choking in the fumes by a pile of empty South African shells. Did you hear my sobs at the siege of Beirut? Did you hear me curse as my eyes, bulbs of my being, backlit the howl and Belson and Auschwitz? I too am Palestine, and I too know the tiny taste of pain. Like the shame of an Arab child having to write the word Israel on the map of a native land. Like our names stolen, names whose ring speak the language of the goddesses. Jerusalem, Shafa'am, Umafam. I too am Palestine. The distended catapult in Soweto. I'm the voice of Haiti, black Haiti, mighty Haiti.